Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a flowery dog vest, and we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a flowery dog vest. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. If you want your sweater to be just a bit smaller, you can go down in size. With this weight yarn, I would go down as low as a 4.5 crochet hook, but uh, I wouldn't go lower than that. So anyway, the yarn I'm using today is Burnett Cozy Style, and it's a four-ply medium weight yarn, um, also called worsted weight. It's 100% acrylic. And then I'm using some scrap yarn, which is of the same weight. You're gonna need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay, let's get started. So our main color for this will be green. Now it's a flowery dog sweater, so I thought I would go with the green as like a background as in a field or something, right? So we're going to start by crossing our yarn and we're going to chain 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, so now we're gonna, without twisting our chain, we're gonna go to that very first and we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch to make a loop. We're gonna chain up two, one, two. Okay, so normally I would work in this part of the little heart stitch, right? But today we're not doing that. Today we are turning the work over and you see how we have these bumps right at the back here. This one's a bit distorted, but so we have the bumps. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pick up the bump, pull through, and I'm doing a half double crochet. So I go through all three loops. I'm gonna do that on the bumps all the way around until I've got 40 stitches, okay? And make sure you count the stitches. It's important that you have your 40. So every bump on the back until you've got 40 stitches. And it's a half double crochet. And that first stitch is going to look a bit distorted. I just want to show you it. See how it's kind of loosey-goosey there? That's okay because when you do your tail, it'll be fine. So 40 stitches all the way around. Do not count that chain two as a stitch. You're just counting the stitches. And meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 40 stitches. Now I'm gonna slip stitch into the chain two of the beginning chain. Okay, I'm gonna chain up two, one, two, and then I'm just gonna do half double crochets around again. Now we're gonna do, this was our first row, and now we're working on our second. We're gonna do six rows of sorry, not six, 12 rows of half double crochets. Now here's the thing. I find that when I just go into the chain over and over and over that my stitches start to go diagonally. 
and I don't want that. So what I do is for the first row, we went into the chain. For the next row, we're going to go into the stitch. So instead of going into the chain here, we're going to go into that first stitch. Always count and make sure you have 40. But yeah, so we're going to do that and we don't count that chain as a stitch, okay? So you go into the chain, you go into the stitch, you go into the chain, you go into the stitch, and that's to do your slip stitch. So do 12 rows, one, and this is two. So do 12 rows total and then meet me back. Okay, so I've got my 12 rows and then I am going to go into my chain. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain up two. Now we're gonna work on the back. Sorry, my yarn got all tangled. <coughs> I uh, pull my yarn from the center and sometimes I get this big thing of yarn vomit. <laughs> so I have to undo the yarn vomit as I crochet. Anyway, enough about that. Okay, so we're gonna chain up two. One, two. Now we're gonna pick up 20 stitches on the back and we're gonna work back and forth on those 20 stitches. Again, we're just using half double crochets. So into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. So that counts, we're not counting the chain two as a stitch, we're just counting the stitches as stitches. And you wanna do 20 stitches. Sorry, still working on that yarn vomit. Um, you want to pick up 20 stitches and you're going to work on them counting this row for a total of six rows, okay? So half double crochet, six rows across 20 stitches back and forth, okay? Do that and meet me back. So I did my six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a longish tail. And then very gently, I'm going to pull the tail through the loop. We're not pulling tight because this little knot we're going to have to pick out later. So do not pull tight. No, no, no. Okay, so now with the other end of the yarn, I still have yarn vomit happening here. So let me, funny thing happened. I was doing steps because as some of you may or may not know, when I crochet, I try and do my steps. I try and do 10,000 steps a day, which I know there's a lot of controversy on whether that's necessarily a good exercise or whatever, but it gets me up off the couch. So I do my 10,000. And while this yarn vomit was trailing behind me, my cat got a hold of it and broke it. So somewhere in the yarn vomit, I have another end. <laughs> so, ah, oh boy, lots of fun. Okay, so we're gonna go over to here. So this is facing me. I go over to this side. I'm going into this, sorry, into this stitch. Now this stitch already has a stitch in it, but I'm going in there. I'm going to bring my yarn through and chain up two. That does not count as a stitch, and I'm gonna pick up 20 stitches here. Now, that seems like the back, and it starts off that way, but this is the chest, and we're gonna do a decrease for the armholes so that your little four-legged friend doesn't have all that extra material in the chest part. And these sweaters, I just wanna remind you, are good for cats and dogs. Um, first of all, you have to like fight it onto the cat and I have gotten many a scratch doing that with <laughs> my cats, but, uh, yeah, this, this size sweater would fit a kitten. Uh, so not a teeny tiny kitten, like eight weeks, but an older, maybe, um, I don't know, 10, 12 week old kitten. And if you wanted to fit a bigger cat, like let's say you have one of those Sphinx cats, 
I would go with some of my small pet sweaters because uh, that would fit better once the cat gets bigger. Because cats seem to bulk up pretty good. They're more long than whatever. Anyway, I didn't count my stitches because I was talking, so let's count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. Okay, so I gotta take one away. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Perfect. Okay. So now we're gonna start our decrease right away. So here's how I decrease. We're gonna chain up two, turn our work. Okay. Now here's my decrease. We're gonna decrease at each end of this row. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. Five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops. We're gonna yarn over and go through all five loops. Okay, and that turned two stitches into one. Sorry, I got this yarn splits a bit, so I just need to see that one strand doesn't belong to this. There we go. Okay, so then we're going to do half double crochets across. So we want a total of 18 stitches for this row. So that counted as one stitch and then we've done two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16. Now I'm at 17. So we know that the next two stitches are going to turn into one. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into that next stitch, pull through, five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops, yarn over, go through all five loops. Then we're gonna chain up two, one, two, that's to get to our next row, turn our work, and we're gonna go right into another decrease. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, five loops, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, go through all five loops. Okay? You're gonna do this until you're down to 10 stitches. So do that, meet me back. Okay, so I'm down to 10 stitches. So now what I want you to do is you're here. You're going to reach to this side, find that chain two that you did, and you are going to slip stitch into the chain two on the back. Okay, slip stitch, make that loop big. Okay, now going back to the one that I said to not pull tight, we're going to pull it apart, go back into the loop, and we're going to do the same thing. Find the slip stitch, or find the chain two from the back, and we're going to slip stitch into that. Now this time we're going to pull our tail through and make a tight knot, and then I just tuck that in the center. Back on this side, we're going back to our loop. We're gonna chain up two. Okay, and we're gonna do three rows of half double crochet around and that's gonna make our neck. And then we'll meet back to do our edging. Okay, so three rows, half double crochet, you will have 30 stitches. Do not count the chain two as stitch. And 
go into your chain and your stitch and your chain for these rows. Do that, meet me back. So I've gone all the way around, I've done three rows. So now I'm gonna go to do my slip stitch into the chain two, but I'm not gonna use the green. I am gonna use my flower color, which is yellow. So what I'm doing is see, I'm holding it here and then I'm gonna chain up three. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the green. There we go. Now, in the same spot that you did your chain three, we're gonna do a double crochet. Okay, so we have in essence, two double crochets because the chain three is counting as a stitch this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain three from here. One, two, three. We are going to use this as the center of our flower. Okay. So we chain three. We're going to do between the two stitches. We're going to do a double crochet. We're going to chain two. And we're going to slip stitch into that center space. Okay. So there, we've made a petal. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to do a double crochet again between those two stitches. We're going to chain two, slip stitch into here. Okay. So we've got two petals. I'm going to turn my work and we're going to start working on the other side. Okay. So we're going to chain two, one, two. We are going to do a double crochet, chain two, one, two. We're going to slip stitch into there. Okay. So that's three petals. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, slip stitch. So we've got four petals. We want five. So chain two, double crochet. You may have to move your stitches over and that's okay. Just give them a little tug. Chain two, slip stitch into the center. Okay, so we're going to turn our work back the way it goes. And this is what we have so far. Okay, so now we are going to put a double crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so this is what we've got, our nice little flower. Okay, now we're going to do two double crochets in the next one. One in the same stitch, two, and we're going to do another flower. So we're going to chain up two, one, two. Do a double crochet between the two double crochets that are in the same stitch. Chain two, one, two. Slip stitch in there. Chain two, one, two. Double crochet. Chain two, one, two. Slip stitch into that center. Turn your works, then we're going to chain two, one, two, double crochet, one, two, slip stitch into the center, and you're just going around that one stitch, okay? Chain two, one, two, 
Move your stitches over if you need to. Double crochet, chain two, slip, and now we're making our last petal because we want five. One, two, double crochet, and then chain two, one, two, and then slip stitch into here. Okay, now we're turning our work back and this is what we're getting. This is our pretty little flower edging. Now we're going to kind of move that flower out of the way. We're going to do a double crochet in the next four stitches. One, whoops, we want this tight. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to start on another flower. So this is what we're getting. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so do this around the top. And when you get to the end of your row, meet me back. Okay, so I've come around and I've got one extra stitch here, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but I've got one extra stitch. So I'm just gonna put another, a fifth double crochet, and this is just for the end. And then I'm gonna slip stitch into the back of the flower. Okay, cut your yarn, leave a tail. Pull your tail through your loop, pull tight. And that's the edging for the top. Isn't that adorable? I think it's so cute. Okay, so now the reason I got you to go in the bumps on the bottom was because we're gonna do the same edging on the bottom. And see now it looks like stitches, so we can follow along easily. So chain up three, and in this instance, it counts as a stitch. Do a second double crochet, and just like we did before, you're going to do a flower, and then four double crochets, flower, just like we did on the top. So do that around until you get to the other side and meet me back. And if you haven't had a chance to, to yet, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this pattern. Um, also, speaking of pattern, I am going to do a written copy of this pattern and put it in my description. I don't always do them the same day that I make the video, so it might be coming soon. Um, but yeah, look for it in the description. There'll be a link to the written pattern. Okay, see you back after you've done around this. Okay, so I'm at the other side and just like with the neck, go into your flower stitch and do a slip stitch. Okay. Pull your tail through your loop, pull tight. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Isn't it adorable? And of course, you're going to hide your threads. Now, the next step is I want to show you how to make the same flower so you can put it as decorations on the body. I might put a couple of flowers on the body of the dog sweater. But right now, it is just so cute. Cat sweater too. I always say dog sweater because I... I Make them for my little dog. Okay, so to make a free flowing flower, so not part of this, we're gonna start by chaining four, three, four. We're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, then we're gonna chain up two. Now we have a hole here, right? 
I'm, I'm catching my tail as I go. So we're going to do chain two, going into that space. We're going to do a double crochet, chain two, and I'm catching my tail as I go. Okay. Slip stitch into the space, just like we were doing. And then chain two, one, two, double crochet in the space chain two, slip stitch into the space, chain two, one, two, double crochet, chain two, into that same space, slip stitch, chain two. Now if you have to move your stitches, just move them over double crochet, chain two, into the space, slip stitch. So we've got four petals, we want to have five. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, slip stitch. Okay, now moving here loop to the back, pull it big, leave enough so that you can sew your flower on, pull it through your loop, tight. Now if you did your tail right, you can cinch it up and there you go. You got a free flowing, same flower as this, see, they're the same. And you can put them wherever. I might do three across, or maybe do a five, or maybe do a diamond, whatever the case may be. I may just put one right in the center. Be creative. So you'll see what I ended up with because I always do a picture at the beginning of my video. So you'll know before I even know. Isn't that weird? Ooh. Okay, and that's it. Hide your threads. There's the chest part. See, you get the, so it tapers so that it's not so tight around your puppy or kitty's chest. You don't have as much material there. And yeah, there you go. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of my tutorial and how I could improve or just say hi. I love it when people say hi to me. Talk to you later. Bye now.